about why you want, why you decided to come study in New Zealand of all places. It's so far away from India. If you take Mahatma Gandhi, if you take Vivekananda, all these people they have been to abroad. They have studied there, they have come back. I'm not saying I'll become a legend like that, but still. We don't know. <laughs> uh, but you get that kind of exposure so that you'll know the difference studying here, studying there. And you might ask me why you didn't choose any other country, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I've, uh, I'm attracted to New Zealand. I didn't have any other choice. So for your one year diploma, postgraduate diploma, how much will it cost? In New Zealand dollars, it's uh, like 38,381. 38,000... 381. 381, exactly. <laughs> you know exactly to the, one, to the one dollar. <laughs> because I'm paying that, because that's the amount which I've taken from the bank. What's your biggest fear about coming to New Zealand? Uh, maybe the thing which I... the part-time job which I should find. Do you have any contacts? I mean, how will you even go about finding a job? Do you know how? Uh, <laughs> I should say I don't know. I don't have any idea about that. And I really don't know what kind of job I'm going to get. I've heard some Indian restaurants, they ask you to wash the plates and I don't know. Uh, depends, but I'm ready to do any job. Why do you think so many Indian students are leaving India? I mean, you guys have good universities here. I mean, what do you think the, the impetus is for them to leave and, and study over abroad? Uh, there are many factors regarding that. One thing I have seen is that there is no good opportunities for the youth to come up. And when you go abroad, and if you study in a good college, if you study in a good university, I think uh, you'll get you'll be placed in some good companies, and you get more exposure in abroad than in, in India, I guess. Uh, and yeah, you'll develop yourself more when you go outside from your place. <laughs>